I had quite a number of comments on the video that I did on five reasons not to buy the ATS series of receivers. And amongst those comments, there was mention of this particular ATS-25 model that I'm looking at the advert for here. And this is the ATS Max Decoder 2, ATS-25 Max Decoder 2. And a couple, maybe more commenters said that um, this was a good receiver. I showed you my original ATS-25 with the colour screen and... Uh, I was told that that was quite an outdated uh, model now, quite an old receiver. I think I must have had that for years or so. I'll, I'll, I'll actually look back and check that. But this is the, uh, at least one of the latest models of the ATS-25. I just thought we'd have a look at some of the specifications or the claim specifications. And um, if you can see in the picture here, it's telling us there's a the ATS uh, decoder two um, has a 50 ohm mode. Well, that's interesting in itself. It only has one antenna connector, as far as I can see, um, and that's a BNC. So I'd expect it to uh, to be looking for a 50 ohm antenna. So I don't know what they mean by 50 ohm mode. LNA function. So I'm guessing that stands for low noise amplifier. So there's some kind of preamp built into the radio. Again, that's interesting because although the ATS-25 that I had had its faults, it wasn't an insensitive receiver. It wasn't deaf, so it, I didn't feel that it needed any amplification, but um, clearly this has got some kind of amplifier. We've got a high impedance, high Z mode. Again, this is, must be referring to the antenna input. But um, I, I think we've got some pictures of the rear of the receiver on this ad. It doesn't look like it's got more than one antenna input connector. So I don't know how they're achieving um, the 50 ohm and high Z modes unless there's a, an, an extra switch on the back or something. Um, looks like we've got a higher battery capacity. Again, um, one thing with the original ATS-25, I didn't feel that the battery capacity was lacking. Certainly the battery life seemed to be pretty good to me, but maybe they've improved it. And um, we've got a Bluetooth function. Why you'd want that on a shortwave receiver, I don't know, but it has it. Now, perhaps the most interesting point and the thing that might make the most difference to a lot of um, experienced shortwave listeners is the built-in bandpass filtering circuit. So that sounds like there's going to be some extra filtering in this receiver which was something that was absent from the previous ATS radios and uh, did leave them open to uh, overload and cross-modulation and that sort of thing. So that could be a worthwhile improvement with the decoder too. Let's see what else uh, we've got claims for here. Bigger battery lasts longer. Uh, Built-in official guaranteed activation code, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LNA and other functions. And um, it's telling us here um, that only we are the Russian, uh, only we are with the Russian original author of the official cooperation. All products are ATS 25 Max Decoder series are developed with the original author hardware and software and built in official activation code. This is um, Banggood, by the way. This is the Banggood site. So they're claiming that uh, they're the best supplier to deal with um, if you want to buy the Max Decoder 2. Uh, whether in reality it makes any difference or not who you buy from, I don't know. The price here, £83.75 UK. Pounds. It's, it, to me, it's a lot for a receiver like this for one of these radios. Okay, and uh, that £83.75 in the UK, I'll try and put the dollars equivalent um, up on the video here for you as well but that 8375 if you went to amazon uk you could get yourself an xh data d808 that's slightly less you can see 80 pound 46 there from amazon and you can pick these up cheaper if you want to buy on aliexpress or wherever or even some of the ebay sites but amazon uh that's that's less than we be paying for the um max decoder 2 or alternatively uh, a big amateur radio supplier in the UK, Martin Lynch and Sons. They've got the Texan PL330 here, look, at uh, 79.99. So both less than the Max Dakota 2. 
Um, I would venture from my experience probably better radios. Um, but let's just look on through the ad. We've got a um, shot here. Now, one of the things that I criticised about the ATS radios is there was no manufacturer name. It looks like here we've got some possibly a manufacturer or a distributor name. I don't know. JSTVRO. Okay, so that's something. You can see it comes with a telescopic antenna. Um, we've got, um, I think that's for, for Bluetooth, that antenna. I don't know. Don't know what that one, or maybe it's for Wi-Fi. I don't know what the third one is. Uh, I'm not sure what that's all about. And uh, you get a USB lead and some stick-on feet. <clears throat> See if we've got anything of the rear of the receiver here. Here we go. Here's the rear. So we've got the BNC for the antenna. We've got a headphone socket. Usual story with these radios. Power off and on on the back. Headphone socket on the back. Uh, USB charging port and um, the, the downloads. You, you'd update your um, firmware uh, on that socket. And we've got a Bluetooth audio switch by the looks of it. And um, an SMA, a connector for the Wi-Fi antenna. So that's the ATX25 Max Decoder 2. Which, as I say, a number of comments has told me was a much improved version of the ATS25. But is it going to be worth uh, more than a PL330 or even an XH Data D808? Okay, well... you. You can probably guess now what's in this box, but let's just have a look. It's only arrived this evening for me. So, um, let's open it up. If I can... Oh, okay. And, um, actually, I saw another YouTuber had the same experience. Uh, and that is surprise at the first thing you see is um, a user manual. So, that is... Um, that's a first for uh, any of these ATS uh, radios. And... Um, well, it looks reasonably comprehensive with pictures of the display. We'll look at this in a bit more depth later. But um, how many pages? It's uh, 14, 22, 22 page manual. Or 23 if you count the uh, last page there. So that's, that's a first. Okay, a little bit of... Um, cloth egg maybe to clean the screen with i don't know got the um telescopic whip with a bnc we've got the um, usb lead well i looked at the advert you remember I, I thought there was an extra thing i thought it was an antenna it's actually there it is it's um some kind of a stylus for the for the touch screen i think but it's got a very hard end to it i've got the um the rubber ended ones which would be Easier. I wouldn't like to use that on a touch screen. Actually, it feels quite sharp. Okay, so um, we've got some um, packaging. Now, this again, packaging is much better than um, the way I've had the previous uh, receivers sent to me. It's, it was in a quite a stout cardboard box, as you saw, and then it was in this foam um, packaging. So. Can't argue with the packaging, that's quite impressive. Take that out of there. We've got a logo on the top here, which is... Is that an A? Oust call? Ace call, Oust call? And then we've got the, um, as we saw in the advert, the JSTVRO uh, branding there. So... It looks very uh, similar format, identical format, really, to the original ATS-25. We'll get that out in a moment, just for comparison. And um, there's the rear, as we saw in the ad. And we've got the uh, Wi-Fi connector. One BNC, headphone socket, power off and on. And the um, USB socket, of course, for um, charging and updating. And I don't know whether you saw it because it, it dropped out of the packet, but we also had the Wi-Fi antenna here included. Let's just knock it on for a second, see if there's... Quite often there's a bit of charge in these things when they arrive. 
and uh, usual pop. And there it is. Um, on an FM frequency as well. Okay. So that's what it looks like out of the box. I'll just turn that off because we've got no antenna in. We'll hook it up to an antenna very shortly and uh, see what it sounds like. Now, I've seen a few fairly brief reviews of um, the AS25 Max Decoder. I've only seen one other of the Max Decoder 2 and I'm not going to name any channels, but the chap doing it, I, I don't think he was an experienced uh, shortwave listener. But he did have a general look at it. But we're going to look at how this performs with an external antenna. I'm also going to see if I can cover the, the modes, uh, the data mode is capable of receiving and see whether, whether it is really of any use on those. But I'm going to compare it to um, the findings that um, I had with the original ATS-25. Remember, this has been advertised as having additional receive filtering. It's got this LNA some kind of preamp whether it needs it or not whether that's any use or not we'll find out um, again Bluetooth I don't know why uh, Wi-Fi I'm wondering if the Wi-Fi when you decode in FT8 and FT4 you need to set the clock of whatever's decoding it accurately you know if you've got a PC so I'm wondering whether the Wi-Fi connection is to enable the uh, receiver to get an accurate uh, timing so it can properly decode FT4 and FT8. I'm just guessing. Maybe the money will tell me a bit more about that. Maybe not. But in the next video, we'll power it up and we'll have a tune around. But just before I close this one, let's have a comparison to the original ATS25 there on top. Um, you'll see that the sizing is identical it's the same case basically isn't it a slightly different uh, smaller size speaker grill there on the max decoder and let's take him round to the rear and again very very similar in fact um, the differences are the wi-fi connector i think the original uh, 25 has wi-fi but it has no external connector um, but i Certainly the firmware that I've got on this ATS-25 doesn't make use of the Wi-Fi. So, but the there's a Wi-Fi chip in there. No, there's no Bluetooth. But the Max Decoder 2 has the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. We'll hopefully find out why. But identical uh, in, in size, um, appearance-wise, if we can turn them both. I don't know if there's any charge in this one. I think there is. Okay, so the screens are... I don't know how well it'll show up in this light... Let's just take the light down a bit. Okay, so you can see the screens. Again, same size screens. Basically, it's the same screen, isn't it? So, there you go. That is the um, ATS-25 Max Decoder 2. There it is. We'll have some fun having a look at this. I hope you enjoyed the intro. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm probably going to have some some adverse comments because I did have one guy who, who made a very good point and, sa and said it's taking you five five of these ATS radios to find out that they're not very good well this is number six maybe this will change my mind we'll see thanks for watching look out for the next one